Hello, everyone, and welcome to 2020. This is Mr. Free Coiner, and I am coming back to you again. I hope you guys have enjoyed all the festivities, your holidays and all of that. You've had a chance to enjoy your families and all of that. Um, I am very happy to be on the other side of all this, <laughs> and hopefully we have a better year this year, better decade, than we did last year and last decade. So uh, I hope that all for all of you guys. Now, of course, I do have to say that I am not giving any type of financial advice here. So just take this as entertainment only. Now, guys, to start out, the price of XRP has not changed at all. A lot of predictions were made. Uh, yet, here we are. And I expected as much. I'm sure you guys did too. We do know we have to hold this until something different happens. Right? There's no point in trying to predict anything. Uh, anything can happen. We just have to be here when it does. Right? So, I guess my best advice would be to just sit back, relax. Let's take it as it comes. And at some point, we will see a change. Now, I personally believe it's going to be sooner than later. And I know I've said that many times before. But all the fundamentals are there. Everything that XRP can do, the different companies that are using it, um, it it's, it's very well known that at some point, XRP has to take off. So... Let's go ahead and get into this and just uh, start off. Now, again, we're still sitting at 19 cents. And also, I wanted to uh, take a look at Fiat Leak. Now, there was qu there were quite a few articles uh, or, or tweets where people were talking about the discrepancy in the price of XRP uh, under the uh, Japanese yen. Now... From what I saw, it was sitting at uh, like 200,000 yen per XRP, which would effectively put XRP around 20,000, oh, 20,000, 2,000 dollars, which is substantial, obviously. Um, now, I personally believe um, we are possibly in the background sitting on a much higher price. I'm not going to say what I think that is, but I think it's much higher than what we're being shown. And I'm sure that is for a reason. Could be regulations, could be uh, different corridors that uh, we're waiting on. I mean, who knows? But one other thing I do want to point out is just the lack of activity going to Japan on Fiat Leak. Now, I could be wrong, but I, <laughs> I mean, it, it only it would only make sense that being that SBI is in Japan and it is a Japanese company, the activity should be much higher. We know XRP is very well liked in Japan. I just personally cannot see why the activity that we're seeing, you know, in the United States, I mean, is not even a quarter, you know, or rather the, the activity in Japan is not even shown to be a quarter. I, like I said, I personally think there could be some uh, suppression here, but hey, who knows for sure. Uh, there's no way to prove that. Just, um, again, we're just going to have to wait and see. Now, one other thing I wanted to kind of go over, just uh, I found very interesting, came across, uh, and this article is on COIL and was uh, created by Robert Pemberton. We definitely want to give a thanks to him. Um, so here, as you can see, a list of major banks linked to Ripple. Now, the thing that I find very interesting here is just the sheer number of banks and, uh, you know, that are being shown. I mean, it's, it just goes on and on. Um, guys, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm really shocked that the price is where it is, but hey, what can we do about it? We have to sit here and wait. Now, just because these banks are linked to Ripple, yes, I know that doesn't mean that they're all using it. Uh, or it's, you know, actively being used. I just find it very interesting that here we are with this substantial list, yet uh, we are 
really languishing as far as the price is concerned. Okay, now I do want to go ahead and tackle some FUD that's being put out there, and it is always continuous, guys. So Ripple's close ties to XRP may haunt the crypto throughout 2020. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to go to here is just this, and this is Mike, uh, someone named Mike Dudas. I'm not sure who this guy is, but he had some pretty, you know, not so good things to say about uh, Ripple, and and honestly, it's extremely inaccurate. He is, uh, I guess, on the surface is stating some things that could be taken from what is happening, but obviously when you look into the details, it tells a different story. So he says, Ripple is the saddest and most egregious example of a dishonest, bad faith cryptocurrency project given its size and duration. Observing this institution enabled retail money grab continue unabated day in a day, uh, unabated day in and day out saddens me. I'm optimistic the pendulum will swing in 2020, he boldly noted. Okay, and he goes on uh, at Ripple is the saddest uh, kind of. Uh, states the same thing and he goes observing uh, well pretty much same thing I, I don't know why they listed it uh, twice here but either way um, yeah it just it, ripple themselves or rather David Schwartz has even said that they have not enriched themselves through the sale of XRP and he, he even stated that in fact um, at their sales of XRP has not really caused him to cause them to gain any monetary value or any any additional uh so i mean that that actually says a lot if they're selling xrp uh and number one they're not getting any richer uh, i'm sorry getting any richer uh because of it and also he did state that the price of xrp hardly even noticed the sales or, or the selling that they did that's very interesting now um and i would have to definitely agree to that agree with that because um anytime they did any selling from what i could see uh the price didn't really do anything it, it's it's the in between uh where we were losing uh, so much of the price of xrp and i uh personally believe again that uh, there could be some uh, more inorganic reasons for the price declining. So, uh, and we've talked about it before. Again, there's there are quite a few theories, uh, also including uh, the fact that uh, XRP is being placed strategically around the world. It, it you know the idea is that it is just an organic uh, price point, but Again, guys, I, I just don't agree with that. I mean, we don't have a substantial amount or, or, or substantially larger amount of XRP uh, in circulation as opposed to when there was a bull run in 2018. So I, it's it's hard for me to really quantify the uh, the reasons for the price being so low. But, I mean, again, uh, there's not much we can do about that. The price is the price. Uh, we'll just have to deal with it and and move with it and wait until it actually does go up for the reasons it needs to. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on. All right, Ripple's on-demand liquidity hits record high on Mexico Corridor. Okay, so this is obviously um, very, very good. Um, and it's kind of, uh, this again is a little bit puzzling, but at the same time, things are growing. This is something that we can actually look to and say, okay, well, we, we are seeing some uh, some progress here. And, hey, it's, I mean, it's great. It's just, I personally feel like there could be more done. Uh, and I'll get into that in just a minute, uh, what I mean by that. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to read what uh, Brad, Brad did say here. He says, on a recent episode of Fintech uh, Beat podcast, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse confirmed the rising volume is linked to MoneyGram. Now, um, there was some, uh, there, there was a previous situation going on where MoneyGram was making some comments about wanting to move forward, but uh, essentially Ripple was 
kind of holding back, but again, we'll get into that. He goes, it's a public ledger. You can see where volumes are growing, contracting, I'm sorry, contracting, and we've talked publicly about it, partly because of MoneyGram as well as some other customers who are using what we call on-demand liquidity. This product is moving capital so that you don't have to pre-fund. We see that the volume transactions between XRP and Mexico uh, and the Mexican peso at a time when crypto trading dropped about 50% over the summer, that volume grew by more than 50%. That's because there's real utility and that's growing. And that's a growing amount of traffic and we're continuing to, man, I, don't, I can't talk today. And we're continuing to grow that amount of traffic. So you can see the percentage of XRP to MXN, Mexican peso transactions. As that grows, it's a pretty safe bet that a larger and larger percentage of that, active, of that is actually utility and not speculation. So yes, the utility is actually growing. And I don't know if uh, Ripple is really wanting to um, let the, uh, let the, utility drive the price as opposed to um any uh, as they, as they say here as any speculative action but um uh, either way uh, this is what it is and it is the corridors that will i think uh and i'm sure we all know that uh will drive the price to highs that we've i mean essentially never seen before now uh what i was speaking about earlier is that MoneyGram did make some comments about them wanting to move and yet Ripple were, I mean, essentially saying, nope, we're going to hold on. We want to make sure we get this right, which makes complete sense. Uh, they don't want to just kind of jump out there and get going and, and then have some type of hiccup that could hurt the, the company's reputation and, and something that would be uh, legitimate as opposed to the FUD that's being put out there. So, I mean, I totally understand that. But at the same time, um, I do believe that uh, we're all ready for them to, you know, actually start stepping, uh, you know, or moving forward with this. I mean, I'm sure there are tons of other corridors that, that could and uh, uh, will likely be um, activated sooner than later. Uh, you know, as the uh, clearinghouse has, uh, has mentioned before, they had mentioned that uh, lighting up the corridors would, essentially uh, cause a huge price spike uh, but again we don't know the real reason why ripple is acting so cautiously uh, when it comes to lighting up said corridors so again we'll just have to wait and see when it actually happens um, i mean again it is it will happen when it needs to i i, I guess i mean you know we'll have to just resign ourselves to that uh, mentality because to be honest with you, this could actually drive you crazy and it could actually drive you out of XRP because of disappointment. So, all right, let's go ahead and move on. Now, this uh, actually is, I found extremely interesting because it's uh, it's a huge thing for artists. Uh, so Ripple Exec builds platform for artists to sell music for XRP and keep 100% of revenue that is awesome guys that is awesome so if you are a uh, a musician or or you know anything like that you make music i mean this could be a huge thing and it's actually already has been released in beta uh so let's go ahead and get into this um so craig dewitt director of product uh product at ripple i'm sorry uh yeah director of product yeah that's what it says has been working on a personal project project for a couple of months now his mission is to connect digital content creators such as musicians directly with consumers to help cu help cut costs when you cut out the middlemen you get lower prices more revenue in the art to the artists and more art uh dewitt told the block uh yeah dewitt told the block to to that end he has built a blockchain based platform called x songs where artists can upload and sell their music directly to users for XRP. When an artist uploads a music um, uploads music to the platform, X Songs runs a series of checks, including copyrights. The platform has gone live today in beta form, which means users can buy songs in XRP. They can pay either via the PayBurner wallet or any other wallet. PayBurner is a non-custodial crypto wallet, wallet, also developed by Dewitt on top of the xrp ledger so that's pretty awesome i'm actually going to get in here 
and check it out. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll go ahead and do a video on that. But uh, like I said, I think this is awesome because there are, you know, a lot of us use music, uh, copy, copyright free music uh, from YouTube and whatnot. And uh, I think a lot of those folks out there that are, that are, you know, talented in that way could, I mean, highly benefit off of this. And as you can see here, um, there are, you know, obviously some fees and certain things related to, it says, well, uh, let's see, I'll go ahead and read this. While Bandcamp charges 15% plus a 6% 6 processing fee of total, uh, a total of 21%. Xsongs is a direct to artist model, which means that platform fees and processing fees will always be 0%. And that, again, guys, that is awesome. So if you are an artist, you might want to go ahead and give this a check. Um, so, uh, again, I mean, XRP or rather Ripple, I mean, obviously the best company uh, as far as blockchain uh, and, and crypto is concerned, I think the best company. And, and, and for someone to actually uh where was it again yeah to for for someone to actually say something like this ripple's close ties may i mean this makes no sense at all because ripple has done i mean without ripple xr xrp would essentially be uh you know one of the coins out there that has no you know use case ripple gave xrp the the use case so uh yeah the fud is just is just ridiculous sometimes all right, so let's go ahead and move on. XRP price stable as Ripple unlocks 1 billion tokens from escrow wallet. Yes, we all know that they are no longer selling uh, XRP on the uh, 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 over-the-counter OTC. So, um, yeah, no worries on that. We don't have to be concerned about, you know, any extra selling pressure or anything like that. So, obviously a very good thing. Ripple, very, uh, very responsible company. They do what they say they're going to do. And guys, I mean, we are in the right thing. Uh, so let's go ahead and get to this last point. Cryptocurrency exchange Pol uh, Poloniex quietly informs user, uh, users of data breach. Now, if you are a Poloniex uh, um, user, you may want to go ahead and check into this. Uh, make sure you change your password. But the way this thing is worded, it sounds as if uh, Poloniex may not be the only exchange that is affected. So I'll go ahead and read this. I'm sorry the video is getting a little long, but uh, quite a lot of information to cover. Guys, I'm trying to make sure I am on point this year. Uh, that was kind of a resolution for me. I want to make sure I'm uh, making content on a regular basis. But, okay, let's go ahead and get into this real quick. Digital currency exchange Poloniex is forcing users to change their passwords after a leaked list of login information began circulating on the Internet. Poloniex's management confirms it sent an email to customers notifying them that a list of leaked emails and passwords could be used by malicious actors to gain access to their trading accounts. The crypto exchange says it is requiring affected users to modify their passwords. While almost all of the leaked email addresses listed do not belong to Poloniex accounts, we are forcing a password reset on any email addresses that do not have an account with us, including yours. So, again, it if, if all of the accounts don't necessarily belong to Poloniex. I'm just wondering, like, if they're leaking email addresses and passwords, well, what exchange, what exchanges are involved here? That's, uh, I don't know, that, you know, just kind of seems weird. I'll go ahead and uh, read this next quote. Yes, someone leaked a list of email addresses and passwords on Twitter. If your account was on the list, you would have been the first to know. Uh, well before any media, media publication, we promptly sent emails out to all affected users requiring them to change their passwords. Again, I don't know. Either way, guys, if you're on Poloniex and, and you received the email or maybe even if you didn't, uh, just make sure you, uh, you know, might want to check that out. So, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you guys are again are taking care of yourselves. And uh, hey, just make sure that you enjoy your families more. Make sure you spend more time with those that really matter to you i think um we get kind of caught up in all of this stuff and and forget that i mean that's what makes us uh that's the reason why we're important right because we are important to other people so anyway guys thank you for joining me if you haven't done so already make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the like button and the post notification button so you know when i post it again until next time this has been mr free coiner Take care of yourselves, and God bless.